for a lot of people, closing means asking for the sale or getting the contract signed. The truth is, is that the way that I look at the sale is I think you actually close in every interaction that you have with your client. And so one of the things that people often struggle with is, is getting to that point where we close off on the conversation and move to the next step. Sometimes that's because we don't feel like we've built the value proposition high enough. And sometimes it's just a limiting decision or what I call the itty bitty shitty committee sitting on your shoulder telling you why you know you shouldn't ask or what the challenge is going to be around that. I remember I went to a program a number of years ago and the presenter said a really important statement that just really stuck with me. And the statement was, what or how many requests am I not making, which if I made them would change my life beyond belief. What I've found over, you know, the nearly 20 years that I've been, I've been coaching individuals and the number of sales teams that I've run and people that I've worked with along the way is that people generally have some kind of challenge in terms of asking for something. It often relates more to the first sale that we have. So as you know, some of you that have been following me for a little while, we believe that sales is the number one life skill. And we believe that there are three important sales that we make. The first sale, the sale to ourselves about our worth and our value, how much we deserve, what we're going after, et cetera. And that's really about our mindset and our belief systems within ourselves. 